here's another place that I always try to stop, but I have yet to catch them when they're open. I'm at Brewston Mills Antique Mall. The number one review or saying for the review is this place is bigger than it looks and it looks absolutely beautiful. Let's go in and see what they got. Such a cute little garden. First thing I see is this amazing pink blendo set. That's really nice. A lot of uranium glass, some funnel toys. I love the bear. The bear is everything. Over here, look at this goofy skunk. That's so good. Definitely uh, exactly what I was hoping for, eclectic. Some paperweights, nesting dolls. Oh my gosh, I love the little celluloid doll set. And the little squeakers. And look at the walking doll, she's fantastic. Absolutely gorgeous metal mesh purse. I love the colors in that. It's like a vivid pink. It's kind of hard to pick up on camera. Another room of cases. Lots of Christmas and Mantiki stuff. The Napco Angel is a good one. She's at 45. It's about what they go for. The old costumes are fantastic, especially that early uh, paper Halloween devil guy. He's fantastic too. The Donald Duck paper mache mask. So neat. Yeah, it keeps going. So far, I haven't seen a lot of stuff that's my style, although it's beautifully displayed in here. Real quality stuff. Very antique -y, which I'm a big fan of. What's going on in here? It looks like more manly man stuff. Hunting and Petroliana. Knives. Yeah, not really my thing. Dude. Those lamps. Let's go check those out. It looks like 550 firm for the pair. You don't know, you know what I mean? You just yeah, for the pair. Those are fantastic. Cool. Little Viking. Yeah, very cool. Again, um, really awesome displays. I love that sign up there. Wow, that's so cool. It's what is that? German Coca-Cola. Maybe. Um, this guy in here is whistling so damn loud. I can't think straight. That's a super fun lamp, that kind of Art Deco style, but it, uh, Cap some Cap de Monte. It's actually this that caught my attention. I've got whistling. I've never seen something like that. I usually just see the lamps. I've never seen a full piece of art like that. All right, that's got to stop. I'm like about to leave. Uh, interesting lamp. Super into this pair of flower paintings. I love the texture on those. Those are fantastic. Van Dell. Well, this is a really interesting case, especially this. That looks like Potosi. That's really cool. Again, with the damn whistling. Uh, silver overlay jack in the pulpit. That's pretty nice. I love that one, even though it looks Chinese with the red. I think it's called like a lotus something. Wow, this case is almost worth enduring the, the, the noise. Um, amazing. Nope, not worth it. I really wish that would stop. Uh, these are gorgeous, these Latticino. That Murano Jack in the Pulpit though, that's, that's pretty awesome. Might have to take a look at that. It might be a little close, but the other thing I notice is this paperweight. That is really different. It's $27. I'm kind of interested in that as well. And then the Web Corbet Crystal Purple Paperweight. That's fantastic. That one's at uh, 43. This I've never seen something like though before. It's like engraved. All right, I have to get away from this man. It's actually killing me. <laughs> I'm sorry to be complaining. Um, we'll go up, I think there's an upstairs and uh, we'll come back. I have no idea what this is, but it's signed and it's incredible. So for 27 bucks, I'm taking it. 
very nice little shop. I did end up getting the Latticino Murano Jack in the pulpit. They're just hard to find. And I think I made out really well with that paperweight. Spent $111 in there after all was said and done. And uh, I think I'm actually gonna call it a day. I got a long drive home. I'll see you guys tomorrow. That time I kept calling this place Toll House. It's Toll Booth. I'm at Toll Booth. Toll Booth Antiques, not Toll House. Toll House is cookies. Let's go in and see what they got. Wow, this place looks like it's really filled up. That's awesome. It's been a while since I've been here. I came here not too, too long ago with Dagny. That was a fun day. Looks like they've uh, switched some things around since. A lot of clothing, which I need to stay away from at the moment. Hello there. Little cat bank, $5. I'll take that for five bucks. That looks interesting, whatever's happening over here. <laughs> oh my gosh, how great are you? Very strange pincushion doll. Kind of a take on the uh, early Victorian ones. That's super fun. I will always remember this booth as the booth that Dagny found like the best Fenton Jack in the Pulpit ever. <laughs> Look at this cat, it's a hobbyist piece. It's really fun though, it's contemporary. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to find more lightweight cats or special cats for the buy it now. I'm trying to do 400 uh, auction style and then have at least 100 cats in the bin. I don't think I will be able to sell all 500, but it's uh, worth a shot. That's contemporary, that's really fun though. And here we have a shelf of elves. These are fantastic. Vintage ceramic pixie elf, Japan, 1950s, $12. That one's repaired. This is USA Pottery, USA Pottery. Super fun. Um, not sure if I'm in a $12 elf mood today. This is really interesting. Look at this. It's a really unique shape to it. Over here, she is fantastic. Little Carmen Miranda vibes. Definitely a new item. Yeah, bird brain. Oh, that's so Jocelyn. That's so funny. Random carnival glass. Let's see. 45. I think these are so fantastic. These little file drawers. That's kind of a fun design. Huh. Looks like Tanala. $4. $4. $4. It's an interesting one. That's not Mexico. Interesting. What's this? Six dollars. Cancun. I like the little mini vase. Four dollars. That one's got a fun shape to it. I'll take that for four bucks. Why not? Crap for four bucks. I might as well take all of them. Those are good buys. Some crackle glass. Oh, this fun like snowman clown. <laughs> Thirty dollars. I'm unsure about that one. Um, I really like this blue one. I had one recently. I thought it was going to do better than it did. It didn't bring 32. I want to say it sold for like 27 bucks or something. I could be making that up. 27, 23 in that range. Look at this owl dish. It's contemporary, but it's sure fun. I love the long shape of it. Well, this is a pleasant booth. It's actually the perfect temperature in here today, which is nice. A lot of the times uh, it can be really hot or really cold. Let's see what they got going on with their salt and pepper shakers. Uh, the first set I see are these Redware Cats, the two-in-one. That one's $10. I'll take that for the cat sale. That's really fun. I love that it's a twofer. And then the little Inesco cats with the ball yarn. Those are 14. They got a little bit of wear on the yarn. Um, I don't pick those up for much unless they're pristine and they're really hard to find pristine. Some really fun 
single shakers. Any cats in there? Just for no shortage of empoli here. It's actually this that's catching my eye. I can't, I don't know if this is Bischoff or Blanco. It says Blanco chipped base. Yeah, oh yeah, that's a significant chip. I was gonna say that's super cheap. A little hand vase, $10. What is this? Oh, it says relax on it. <laughs> I don't really, whoa, what is that? Oh, it's West Elm. That's so funny. It's got that empoli green color to it. The top is clearly not empoli, but I was wondering if it was something else, maybe. Hmm, candle holders. Scottish pig. Let's see. Oh, look at you. You're fantastic. $10. Made in Finland. That's interesting. A Finnish cat. I was gonna say that looks like Heidi Shoop, and sure enough, it is. That's a good buy. Um, weird. Kind of into it. This booth has got a lot of really interesting things. These little Jack in the Pulpits are neat. Those are definitely um, Japanese. At least I would assume so. This is gorgeous. This paperweight. That's at 48. That looks like Murano maybe no it's not as clean as it should be the lines i that might not be morano actually what is this <laughs> it's like a candle holder definitely newer very cool again with the potosi vibes this stands out signed iridescent paperweight 48 dollars. it is signed c a CA. It almost looks like it says cat. I don't think that's what it says though. 1981. That's really cool. Interesting. Interesting colorway there. Hello, Kool-Aid man. Talk about interesting paperweights. Look at this thing. That's wild. Sign shell paperweight. And that one. Interesting. Sweden. Well, that's definitely different. Not my thing. Apple's kind of nice. Let's see. It's kind of overstimulating in this booth. I like it. I see this incredible carnival glass. I had to see how much it was. 55 on that one. Oh my gosh, this lamp is everything. I love the combo here. That's too fun. I got this curio cabinet though. That is amazing. Oh, it's French, see? Should have known, it looked French. The detail on it is insane. These are really fantastic, aren't they? That is feeling a little too heavy to be in poly though, I'm not sure. That though, that's amazing. I would love to have one of those. Oh, whoa. Look at the bohemian uh, mantle. What are these things? Mantle lusters, yeah. That's a really unusual color. It's like a Tiffany blue. I would love to have a giant stained glass window like that where I live. I don't think this booth was here the last time we were here. Let's see, one little cat peeking out. <laughs> so fun. A looks like it's missing part of its set. It should be in a larger set. Here's another fun one. I always like going through these booths where you never know what you're gonna find. Very hodgepodgey. Oh, I remember this. That's so fun. And the booth just keeps going. <laughs> Chalkware Elvis at 95. Everyone always asks if I'm gonna sell my Elvis lamp. The answer is no. <laughs> I call this the Nippus booth because all my favorite things in this booth are always marked not for sale. But I still torture myself and look anyway. Like the slurp stall. Watch this. <laughs> oh, we'll let her go for $350. 
I have one of those. That's a really fun bucket hat. I love the heels too. Very 90s rom-com vibes. The alligator is super fun. He is an FS. I've bought and sold those before. I've actually gotten two at the same antique mall in different years, which is kind of weird. I guess it's not that weird. Same vendor. Well, that was a steal in there. Uh, $27 and I'm gonna hop in the car and figure out what my next destination is. It's a beautiful day out.